Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am at the Budh International Circuit and you see there are a lineup of AMG cars because it is an AMG track day. It is actually the launch of the Mercedes GT 63 S Formatic Plus by Turbo E Performance. It's a long name but that car has insane power output. 1470 Newton meters of torque, 800 plus horsepower, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.9 seconds. It's crazy but you're not driving that car we're going to be driving some of these cars so i think i'm going to drive okay you'll find out in the video but we're also going to be doing a sort of a gym khana course with the a45 because a45 was last driven on the road by me then obviously on the nat tracks high speed track where i did 280 kilometers per hour oh 279 kilometers per hour look at me 280 kilometers per hour this mercedes a45 amg but today let's get a bit dynamic as well so this is the track which has been sprayed with water so that the tires don't go quickly. The car is in drift mode. You throttle a bit, it's going to spin the other way. It's quite an interesting track. This is known as the autocross or something of that sort. And it's a slow, fast, slow track as such. It's not really going to take you at high speed. It's all about handling today. Check one, two, three, four, exciting stuff. Let's see what happens. Uh, so what drive mode are we in? Traction off, cluster mode we can actually change. No, this is a good cluster mode to have. ESP off. Left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator, race start, and off we go! This is more of a sighting lap, so if I get hard on the throttle, we are going to definitely spin. The plan is not to spin, actually. Little bit hard on the throttle, and I'm definitely going to spin this car. Oh my god, the thrust is unbelievably nice. Oh, there's a lot of resistance somehow. Ah! Oh, excellent, excellent, good job. Thank you so much. Practice, this is a practice. I'm not going full bananas yet. For the time lap, we are going to go full bananas, but because drift mode is on, if I get hard on the throttle, we are going to spin. Why is it showing me the weather? I don't want to know the weather. Show me some track pace thing, na, yaar. Let me try and cheat by being a little behind so I get a better run. Okay, this time we are going to go real bananas. Race start. Come on, 23 seconds, we can do better. I know when I'm making a mistake, I'm going to correct that for sure. Rank number two, come on Faisal, you can do better. I can, I can definitely do better. I think we can do much better. This is an amazing one, Faisal. Come on, you can do this. Oh, and finishing it sideways. <laughs> oh my God, this was better, but yeah. <sighs> good fun, good fun. So there we have it. Could be faster. All right, we're all set to go, which means let's start moving ahead. I'm uh, really sorry for the camera today. Thing is, I'm wearing a helmet and I cannot do a head mount and there's no sunroof in this particular A45, which is kind of surprising. So right now I've actually mounted it on the side. I'm just going to quickly change the instrument cluster mode. Yeah, styles and displays, come on. <laughs> let's put it into sport one. And I know there might be some glare, which might come from here. So we just remove this sheet as well. And I'm just going to put it into the glove box right now. Okay, let's come to this particular thing and change it into the tachometer. Oh my god, <laughs> things are a little too delayed here. I don't like the way this works, okay? This could be more slick. Come on, change. Oh god, I'm just making the wrong changes everywhere. So here we get into Sport Plus, into the center one. I'm going to drive it a little easy. Come to the tachometer on the left. 
and why am I driving easy? Because we are going to give it bananas very soon. Ah, uh, okay. I have to get to the speedometer. Yeah, finally. Okay, now we are in sport plus mode. It should be in race mode. Look at the aggression there. Going to keep the speed a bit slow, and we're going to carry some good speed here. I've already done 280 kilometers per hour on this particular car, and now bang onto the throttle, and here we go. Come on, let's see what can we do. I am estimating this car to hit around 230 kilometers per hour before I start breaking top of washer fluid. Like at this speed, you want me to top of washer fluid? Stupid. Uh, 223 kilometers per hour. That EQS 53 AMG is really very slow. So we are just going to put in some temperatures on the tires. I love the sound. It's amazing. Brakes are also very nice and sharp. The problem is that people are driving quite slowly. This car is absolute hood. Look at the way it goes. <laughs> Very different people from class today because the lead car happens to be the GLE 63 followed by the 53 A35 EQS 53 AMG. Behind me is another GLE 53 AMG. Behind that is an E53. This seems the most potent car right now. So you can do stuff like this. <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah. It's like proper muscle car hatchback. Muscle car hatchback doesn't even make sense, but yes. Okay, we're just going to turn this on. Okay, select track references. In fact, I am trying to do all this while driving. So we get into AMG performance. Here it's showing me how much power and torque the engine is using. Yeah, that is also cool. So we are going to back off a bit because that AMG 53 is not very fast. So let's take it very easy, very slow. Guys, move on, move on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't worry, I'm right behind. I'm not going anywhere. So the aim is to have the fastest possible thrilling lap with this car when we start driving and there's a mosquito inside you want to be dead or what so many oh look at this i actually managed to do this put out this mosquito as well so that's nice the gle 53 is on my ass right now okay let's go baby <laughs> the tires screech like absolute nuts I can obviously manually take care of the gearbox. So this is a 2-liter engine, 420 horsepower, 500 Newton meters of torque. Result is it goes from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.7, 3.8 seconds. Guys, move, please move, please move, please move, please move. Come on, AMG 53. What are you doing? Sorry, EQS 53 AMG. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and off we go. Holy moly, understeer kicking in. And here we are. I was supposed to drive the E63 AMG, but they removed the car because they're like, you know, we want to make some changes to the car. I think tire change or something. That car is really hot to the brakes. So am I. Oh my goodness. Too much tire screeching happening here. Okay, now I'm actually going to break here only and wait. Let these cars go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And here I'm going to carry speed. So manual shift here, first gear, and bang on, off we go. Listen to the tires. Understeer. Proper muscle car sound, man. catching the front car really very fast so that EQS is going really very slow which is not surprising it's shocking and it's also sad the car's not going fast enough that's kind of <laughs> ruined the whole mood today but never mind we're driving AMGs on a track so that's really a lot of fun I can see the EQS actually rolling a bit because of the weight obviously the battery is very heavy there ah it's hot and it's telling me active brake assist right now like are you for serious i mean are you for real we are on a racetrack and you care about all that use as much of the track as possible that's the best way to go through a track actually that's the fastest way and obviously track limits is something we should be careful about track limits is basically when you're going out of the track so you can go on the curb that's fine but you should not exceed it outwards really nice fun to drive car, a45 very dynamic quite stiff out on the road when i drove it i didn't like it much because every bump i had to be so careful but here on the track my goodness it's an absolute beast yeah it just flows from corner to corner amazing body control really sticks to the line and drives fantastically well 
what a lovely little car <laughs> it's quite value for money also because at this price there's nothing else you can get obviously the ford mustang is gone which is kind of sad imagine they're going to put hybrid tech it will become even faster this a45 uh, this is the a45s of course so really dynamic really fun and that is the end of this a45 experience because we head back inside i cannot see a gl i can it's very far behind so here yeah, downshift <laughs> now i don't know which car i'm going to jump in next i suspect i'm going to get into the gle 53 or maybe the e53 either of those 53 amgs it's better to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow considering the lineup today i'm actually driving quite slow i can drive at least 30 to 35% faster considering the capability of this car oh my god i'm exhausted <laughs> with the g forces let's turn on the air conditioning let's get some cooling inside yes you know what's the smartest thing to do ever is to turn off the air conditioning okay air conditioning off i will actually come to a halt here yeah here parking and now Oh, 7000 rpm with such cleanliness amazing all right let's turn on the car i love the display it's so amazing there it turns on it has it turned on it's so freaking silent how is that even possible let's rev it yeah it is actually on so let's quickly change the cluster mode because obviously tachometer is the most important thing in the world right now as a reason i don't like electric cars because there's not a proper tachometer we're going to get into sport here for the cluster mode oh my god that's nice so it's telling me the boost and everything in the center we don't want to know the boost we want to know what is the speed which we are doing so i'm just going to come into that or oh, g force meter okay anyways it's coming on the top so i think we should do the g force meter that will be cool right here we are air conditioning let it on, be on for some time if you're going to get into the engine data and i'm going to change the drive mode into sport plus okay there's no race mode we are going to be in sport plus yes baby that's the way to go so first things first air conditioning off mandatory to turn it off so that you don't hear the blower sound let's rev the engine listen to this okay soft limiter at 4000 rpm a little disappointing we actually get into traction control sport Yeah, everything is in sport right now so the car is also lowered here sport handling mode which is nice into drive mode and off we go now this is a heavy car this is the GLE 53 now with the 53 obviously two cylinders less six cylinders compared to the GLE 63 63 i really love on this track i've driven the RS Q8 not once but twice multiple laps of course and i love the RS Q8 it's very dynamic obviously it has a record on the nurburgring as well fantastic car this one is obviously going to be heavy it has got eq boost as well which the 63 does not have so the 63 obviously has more raw power as such and out of the pit lane and off we go oh sounds like a muscle car yeah definitely it does sound like a muscle car compared to the a45 i find the brakes to be soggy and body roll to be plenty so you have to be a bit careful while turning because this car has the power but around the corners can be a bit handful as well so i just we going to use the wipers to clean the windscreen let's see what tops we do we manage because a45 is always going to be fast i don't need to keep a gap with it and off we go let's get into the slip stream pressing this button to open the drs rear wing you know the mercedes doesn't really give you good pull with the drs open as well because no side port okay if you follow the formula 1 you will understand this this guy is not really that fast it's kind of struggling to go to 220 km per hour people are breaking ahead let me also break ahead yeah it is not that sharp in terms of braking but this is a car which balances comfort beautifully well with performance so you can see now when i go a little mental even with eq boost now there's not that instant thrust or grunt which is coming through so yes i find this car a little heavy not very fast revving but it obviously offers you a lot of practicality as well lead car oh, oh, oh crack, cracks and pops and all those things use as much of the race track as possible so that's what we are going to do i have to manually take control of the gearbox everybody stuck on each other's ass because i think there are two uh, segments happening simultaneously so we have to actually slow down till that time i'll tell you that on the road this car is fantastic to drive obviously not 63 level because 63 has more performance but it brings you the best of both worlds which is fantastic the other thing i like about this car is it looks quite cool because this is the coupe right so coupe design is obviously fantastic as well 
I think they need to add more EQ power and more EQ boost because there is that bit of a lag between on and off throttle transition. So I think that could be slightly better. And they know this is kind of on the slower side. That's why this is at the back of the field. Behind me is the E53, which I think we are going to be driving next. So now is my chance to actually make a nice gap because after that we are going to go absolute bananas. Four wheel drive has to be because it needs all that grip and traction of four wheel drive system. Use the curbs, best thing to do, but obviously it will eat up the tires much faster as well. In Formula One, they tell drivers stay off the curbs, please, to prevent damage to the suspension when they are actually going more aggressively. I think I'm going to come to a halt here right now, <laughs> get some temperature in the tires. Nothing going to happen if I weave like this. And now is the time to give it full beans. sound quite nice and now is the time to stand onto the brakes uh, it does shed brakes quite fast i had to brake actually later okay we are going to go dynamic now sport handling mode now it's giving me a little bit of extra possibility to do a little mental stuff as well Shifts at around six and a half thousand RPM. You can see power and torque meter. How much power and torque is being consumed in real time? I think it will touch around 210. Before that, I am not looking at braking at all, no matter what happens. And then I am so freaking stupid. Brakes, 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 brakes. <laughs> Too early on the brakes. Actually, uh, the cars ahead. Otherwise, I would absolutely take the risk. Understeer, 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 understeer. Too much of understeer. Yeah, a near, lit, near limit understeer is there. Even the power delivery is more rear biased. It just washes out if you try to corner it very aggressively, mainly largely because of the weight of this car. It's a very heavy car. It is extremely heavy. You can feel the weight transfer under heavy braking, weight transfer to the front, and then around the corners, you can see it does roll quite a lot. See, ESP cuts in. Why? Honestly, I can turn off the ESP system because even with ESP off, not that anything is going to happen because at the end of the day, it's a formatic system, right? So, decently enjoyable to drive on the track, not a car for the track. You are better off with the 63. The 63 is just so much better. I honestly love the Mercedes uh, GLE 63 AMG. It's kind of my favorite car as well because it offers performance, it offers dynamic handling and it also offers good amount of comfort but then it also guzzles a lot more fuel. I think it goes from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.8 seconds. The 63 obviously rivals cars like the Lamborghini Urus as well, amongst others like the Audi RS Q8. And then it also rivals cars like the BMW X5 M competition, which is absolute bonkers in the way it accelerates. But these are heavy cars. These are extremely heavy cars. And you can feel the weight. It feels like you're driving an elephant which has been strapped on a nuclear missile in the 63, that is in the 53. The nuclear missile has already been used once or twice, so it doesn't still have that grunt or the oomph. But still quite enjoyable to drive. Uh, really like the GLE, especially in AMG guys. I'm not a big fan of the regular GLE, but in AMG guys, it's mental. It's absolutely mental. Oh, I'm tired, honestly. I am really tired because the car is not very fast, so I have so much time to think and analyze and overthink and then feel at times, you know, I'm going slow and all. Okay, again, apologies for the camera position, air conditioning off, first things. And uh, we are actually going to get into Sport Plus mode, obviously. I want to change this cluster mode because I want to see the tachometer all the time here. Styles and displays, we are going to get into Sport. Come on, this thing can be more responsive. I'm not really happy with this whole touch control. Who has put a freaking clock? Why would I want to see the time? <laughs> Crazy. So speedometer, tachometer and all that is turned on right now. Here we are going to get into performance, AMG performance. So it's going to show me engine data as well. And yeah, AC is off, everything is fine. And off we go. Oh, 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 nice, nice. Okay. Oh my goodness. This car feels ultra light when compared to the GLE which I was driving. All of a sudden, I feel so much alive. Absolutely bonkers the way this car performs. Oh my god. <laughs> Tire noise. ABS is taking a vacation. 
<laughs> amazing absolutely amazing here we are actually going to get into what all modes we have so we're going to get into traction control sport handling mode as well let's use the wipers all of this i'm doing while driving the car which is absolutely crazy what speed will it do come on i think don't tell me it's going to do 15 or something that's about it uh, to 17 on to the brakes brakes feel a bit soggy somehow i don't know why sheds speed fast downshifts are really very aggressive this is the second most fun car right here right now <laughs> Crazy! Drive a GLE and drive this. Both have a similar powertrain. You understand the difference. You understand, my goodness. This is just so much more dynamic because of the lighter weight. I just wish the brakes could be a lot better. Oh my god, the turn ins are so freaking smooth. It absolutely dances on your commands. That is the way it's going. Amazing experience and here I feel I'm going to oh my god the front end feel is just mind-blowing and there you can see the GLE is struggling Naturally, so we're just going to take it a little easy. Come on GLE you struggle. We'll cool down the tires a bit No, we're not cooling down the tires. Anyway, we're actually putting heat into the tires. But anyways It feels like a freaking go-kart. I just love the way the body control is so much better That's why a sedan or a car of this type like a cabriolet is so much better you can see how the car is sliding because sport handling mode i have not turned off traction control otherwise this car will obviously spin <laughs> rightfully so but look at the way okay look at oh my god the precision with which it handles it's no e63 but my goodness it is still extremely poised wonderful amazing i love it i love the way this car handles it is so much fun so what you're going to do is we're going to actually take it slow let the GLE go because GLE is super slow, right? And at the end of the day, the GLE is going to slow down everyone. And the problem is that I'm the only person behind the GLE. So GLE is only going to slow down me. Nobody else. It's not going to slow down anyone else. So here, come on GLE. Go, go, go. Take your own lead and all. And now it is time to go bonkers. Absolute nuts. And here we go. Look at the way, okay? Look at the way the turn in is just so mind blowing. Come on, give me power. Red line comes in at 6,500 RPM. This is a six-cylinder engine, which is quite punchy, honestly. Of course, the E63 is something else because V8 power for the win. Now, we are going to stand on the brakes from around 180, 90 kilometers per hour. Beautiful brakes. Get your braking done. And onto the throttle. I can see the car is just dancing. That is the level of precision it has. So we are going to slow down. Everybody go. So we're going to catch some speed by entering the corner. So get your braking done before the corner. Then smoothly accelerate out of the corner. That's the best way to do it. Because mid corner when you brake now, you're going to upset the balance of the car and punch. Here we go. some aggressive braking okay look at the dance okay <laughs> body roll is there it is there but the balance is surreal absolutely makes you feel alive this car i love it i absolutely love it i love the way the downshifts are so nice and aggressive and Wow, unbelievable, yaar. I love it, it's so amazing, the way it's able to actually dart into corners, if you notice, <laughs> we actually went too aggressive there. Yeah, the seatbelt is tight enough crazy, so the thing is that I was heading to the barrier of course, but everything was under control because I knew I had to lift off, get into the throttle, balance the car, straighten it and then move forward. So traction control obviously kicked in to prevent all that and more the seat belt is super duper tight at the moment i can feel it i can feel the seat belt right in my tummy <sighs> so it lets you be a little playful and but it becomes too playful with the traction control when you have actually put it on sport it's not turned off it's on sport yet it's crazy playful the traction control system fun absolute fun but that was a heart in the mouth moment i know that balance was there so thing is you don't panic you don't stand on the brakes because when you stand on the brakes obviously the car is not going to give in much control it's just going to go the way it wants to balance it nicely and get back on track 
so nice experience of driving amgs on the track <laughs> i know it was a bit scary i have no clue what the instructor is saying if you have seen it or not but yeah we had some fun for sure obviously they have cameras monitoring everything so <laughs> don't go over the limit and always turn on traction control which is already on it's on sport handling mode but you know sport handling mode i didn't expect it to give me so much leeway to go off and absolutely spin woof turn on the air conditioning that was so much fun scary and athletic as well quite like the e53 cabriolet eh? lesser weight now no oh, we have rear seats but those seats don't matter let's get out can you see the smoke from the brakes yeah after i drove this car with heavy braking it's smoking right now such fantastic cars also come to track day they are not driven on the track but look at this mercedes my back s580 v8 so it has been a very fun day here at bhut international circuit driving amg cars on the track honestly this is a thing you should definitely do because driving on the track makes you a better driver you learn a lot of skills which you cannot try out on the road you can do it on the track like braking extremely late understanding the judgment of the brakes and if you like this vlog make sure to give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel bye bye